Hey guys, it's Sam. Today is Sunday, November 8th, and I think I mentioned this, but I am moving. We're moving to another state, not too far away. We're just moving to New Jersey, and um, we are really in the middle of packing. We're going to move in about two weeks, and um, it's just time to get started because we have a lot of stuff. So I wanted to keep you updated. This won't be... Uh, one day video it's going to be like the process of us packing and everything so let me turn you uh so here's the kitchen there used to be a pantry right there but it is over there now because we are gonna uh, get rid of it it wasn't even good enough to donate to someone or even ask someone if they wanted it the doors were uneven and just not very good quality it was from walmart i believe uh it was fine for now but we got we're getting rid of it um, and these boxes are pronto boxes. They're plastic bins. And I love these so much for moving. We use the same company. It was a different name, though. They changed names. It was Bongo Boxes. And they're just so great for moving. Uh, so that's all the stuff that was in the pantry. And that's going to be our makeshift pantry. Those are my spices in there. Uh, these things we're not going to be using. They're just... Uh, <laughs> I asked them, it's Indian food. I asked them not to ring the bell, but they did anyway. Hold on. Okay. That was, yeah. The It's a really good place, but there were, we ordered at three. They said it would come by four, but it came by five. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are all um, dishes and pots that we're not using at the moment. I cleared out basically the entire top here and then our coffee and things. Oh, look at that sky. You know what? Let's appreciate the good things because it's been kind of a rough day today. Um, moving is not rough, but like, it's stressful, you know? Uh, let's see. So then we go into here. That's my grandmother's things that I'm trying to keep her room clear. And here are the rest of the bins. These are the small ones. And then there's about seven big ones. Uh, there's some more over there, more boxes over here. So it just looks crazy like we're moving we moved in or something, but we have not moved in. Uh, we are moving out, of course. Um, super, super, sorry. Super excited about moving. Um, but you just always forget how stressful moving is. And then you just like have, we have so much stuff and I'm not getting rid of enough stuff. Oh, we are, here is, here is our donation pile. And there's even more in the basement. Um, so we are getting rid of stuff, but to me, not enough stuff. But I just can't part with some things. It's hard. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you updated and track my progress maybe every few days or so. Um, I didn't show you the basement yet, but I will show you that. There's I packed a lot of things down there. But the basement in my office slash closet is going to take a lot of time because I have a lot of stuff that... Um, I want to go through and I don't want to I think what's going to happen is is I'm going to probably do the same thing I did last time where I pack everything and then it sits somewhere for a while so I'm going to try my best to get rid of some things and I will keep you updated morning guys I am today it's Friday happy Friday uh we had off yesterday for Veterans Day so it's nice to come back and only have one day uh my sister's boyfriend though, their company, they, so they have off today instead of yesterday, which I kind of would have preferred, but it was nice to have off anyway. Uh, so I just want to update you. I got here out to work at a decent time. I woke up, it was one of those mornings where I woke up from my first alarm, but then I guess I fell back to sleep and I have two emergency alarms because I've had that happen to me a few times not a lot but I just have backup alarms just in case you never know how tired you're gonna be or what you don't hear so I woke up to my 6 15 alarm and that's really I'm usually out of the house by then so I'm feeling a little bit frazzled but not too bad uh, but I wanted to update you on the house situations. We had ordered plastic bins. I like those instead of using cardboard. I mean, we use cardboard too. Uh, but I prefer the plastic bins. And we used that three years ago. And it was just so nice. And uh, we got the three-bedroom one. I think it's going to be enough. I wish we got the four. But Steve was saying, well, let's just stick with the... Let's just stick with um, 
the three bedroom one and you get, I forgot how many, but you get a decent amount of boxes. You get like seven large ones and then 50 something smaller ones, like 27 gallon. Sorry, there's an ambulance. It's sort of passive, you can still hear it in the background. It's so loud. Uh, so I'm putting on, just side note, I'm putting on the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Candle Light right on my lids because I find that if I don't put anything there, the oils from my lids make my mascara really run. Uh, just around here too. And I get teary-eyed, so I think that's also. So I just, this is not my preferred, like, candle light is not. But it does give me, like, extra shine you know make my eyes look brighter in the in the corners okay uh so back to the house um so we got the plastic bins and we got them for a month i figured that give us good time with the understanding or under the assumption that we were closing next week we were supposed to close on our current home on the monday and then on wednesday close on the Jer jersey home because we cannot move without selling our current home or getting the funds uh we just found out a few days ago that it's going to be later either in the week or another another week and i was so disappointed because we got the boxes and i was like how great we're going to be moved in somewhat at least our stuff before thanksgiving uh now that's all changed and you know i took off work the whole next week um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to tell them it's going to really be last minute. I don't know when we're going to close on either home, so I got to take off days that way. Um, I'm hoping that we close Wednesday on our Staten Island house, and then we can close Friday on the Jersey house. At least we could make that happen and then possibly move the week, the month, that Monday or Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we were already going to, um, <laughs> city life, uh, we were already going to, uh, kind of cater or go out for Thanksgiving dinner, um, so, I'd rather just cater, but I don't know the area too well, it's depending on if we're in Staten Island or New York, and I really can't cook in my current home because the oven we don't have an oven upstairs and it's the one downstairs was disconnected um so it's just really disappointing that's all so that's the news i've just been packing little by little um this gives us a little bit more time but the house is crazy right now i am one that needs clear like obviously i'm not a minimalist because i'm have so much stuff but I do keep things like out of the way like you know hallways floors things like that and right now our living room you can't even watch TV because the boxes are in front and I'm running out of space to put boxes I'm just struggling a little bit with the move um, it's very stressful and everyone tells you it's gonna be stressful but you're like I was like no I'm gonna do a little by little but the, the What's causing my stress is there's no place to put boxes <laughs> in our kitchen. We got rid of the pantry because it was falling apart. I think I said that earlier in the, early, this, the clip before this. Um, so we just have black plastic bins. And it's so funny. I just want to say one more story before I go. Um, so we had our silver. So there's two drawers next to the fridge. Uh, two like silverware or in junk drawer so that we the left side was the junk drawer and the right side was the silverware drawer well we because the plastic bins made it hard to open the silverware drawer i just emptied the junk drawer and put the silverware in there well everyone including myself keeps on opening the old silverware drawer and i had to put a note and even that you said we are such creatures of habit even that did not help um help us not open those drawers it was just so funny anyway i'll keep you updated hopefully i'll have some good news to share with you in the next clip about when our closing date is this is pretty normal i was getting nervous that the buyers were going to cancel because anybody could cancel at any point that's what's kind of scary you find a house and then like 
the other party cancels or whatever. I don't think that's the case. They're just waiting on something from their mortgage company. <sighs> Keep your fingers crossed. I am hoping that it is Wednesday or Thursday at least. Please, please. <laughs> Hey guys, today is Sunday, November 14th, and this is the current state of our basement. These are all boxes that are going to be moving with us, and that's already still have to do this. I, I'm going to just tidy up right now because it is almost 6 o'clock, and um, we haven't been working all day, but this is what I've done in like three hours or so. Um, I'm going to put those blankets into bags. That ottoman is clear. The rug we are getting rid of, it's just... I don't like it. Um, it's a shag rug and it's just so hard to vacuum. So we'll get another one. Plus it got dirty. Um, in here, this is almost clear. Um, using those boxes. They're so great. There's some more here. That's my sister's things. Um, yeah. Washing blankets that we want to use that I took out of this ottoman. And I'll show you my office upstairs as well a little bit later on. Hi everyone, it's Sam, and today is Monday, November 15th. I guess I don't have to keep on saying my name, but it's just creature of habit I am. Uh, yeah, so today's Monday. I'm here parked at work. I want to do a quick update, even though I updated you yesterday. So funny, I woke up this morning, not with my alarm, but with the sound of my little dog, which I haven't introduced you to yet. I'm sorry about that, but I think you've seen her and heard her. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have definitely seen her on there. Um, uh, but I heard, I heard her throwing up or the sound of hacking or throwing up. I'm a very light sleeper, so I, and she's right on my side of the bed. Uh, so I looked over and she was trying to eat it. She's a dog, of course, gross. <laughs> and um, I picked up what it was she threw up. It wasn't a lot, but it was a hairball. And I totally understand because she's a Hoover vacuum. That's what I call her. She's just like this on the ground, outside, inside, on the rug. And they're both shedding my two, my both. Sorry, I have two dogs, and they're both shedding crazy right now, especially the little one. Uh, so I woke up to that, but mentally I was already awake because, I don't know, I had a hard time falling asleep. And that's what happens on Sundays. I tend to sleep in way too late, even nap sometimes. Um, so I just had a hard time falling asleep. I kept up looking at the clock. I must have fell asleep because I had what I would classify as a nightmare uh, with this move and everything and the delay of the closing and my mind must just be like turning and just non-stop thinking about it um, so my dream slash nightmare I don't remember exactly but I just remember the the main point was the buyers of our home in Staten Island canceled and we had we couldn't move we we couldn't move to jersey because we need the sale of the staten island home it was wild uh and that's one of that's my fear is that the buyers cancel but we're getting their mail so we just they're waiting on something from them it's not like they're canceling but it could still happen so um hopefully we hear from uh hear from them today their people Keep your fingers crossed, and next time I see you, I hope I have better news. Hi, today is Mon Monday. Nope, today is Wednesday, November 17th. Happy hump day. Uh, so, we got some news. We're not going to be closing on our Staten Island home until probably December 2nd, and then we'll close on the Jersey house, but I'm... I'm was very I want to use the word angry but I was extremely upset yesterday when I found out because what's the point of having these dates but apparently that's normal and like you, you get a date and then everybody works around that date but things have to be moved but I have a feeling that the buyers did not finish the paperwork that they needed and that's why there's a delay because I don't understand otherwise what's happening um, I know there's something going on with like the lenders, their, their like mortgage company, and then like after whatever they have to finish is finished, then lawyers have to look through and make sure everything's okay. And I'm like, why wasn't this done already? And there came to measure 
uh, they came, the buyers came inside with their uh, contractor and measured everything and we're getting their mail, so they're ready, but like, I don't know if they, paperwork-wise, they weren't ready, so I was really, really annoyed. Uh, but I've calmed down, I think things are, things are working better out for us this way, it will work out better for us this way, we have more time to pack, and that's the other thing is, like, you know, we worked around this date, and we got the plastic bins that I'm renting, but now I have to rent them for longer, because it's gonna cut, and it's, if we close on December 2nd, it will be, I'm supposed to give away the boxes on the 4th, December 4th, and then that affects our New Jersey closing, and I'm just, I'm still pretty frustrated, but I've calmed down a bit, and uh, my grandmother's now moving with us, so we'll move her first before we move, and I'll make moving day a little bit easier, but yeah, I wish I had better news. Um, I'm coming around to accepting the date, the date change, and um, I'll, hopefully I'll have even better news next time. Hi everyone! Today is Friday, November 19th. Happy Friday! I feel like I've been working for 30 days straight. It's just so... everything is stressful in my life. Work is just... it's somewhat I think is burnout and somewhat is just... You know, these groups of kids, not their fault. It's just a different group of kids this year. Um, with like, You know, half their life was lived through the pandemic. So it's very interesting. Um, to see how they are. Anyway, this I have some. This video is not about that. I have some great, great, great news. We finally got official dates. Now these could change again, but I think everyone seems to be like, no, this is it, and this is what's gonna happen, and it's gonna be December. And I know that sounds very far away, but December is right around the corner. It is coming up next week uh, so yeah we can finally get some movers and really really finish up packing I think we did a good start I would say we're we are 60% done and this gave us a bit of extra time it's so funny thinking about it though we would have been moving either yesterday or today to the new home if things had worked out the way it originally was supposed to. Uh, I'm glad though we have the extra time and I think it always seems to like work out that way. You always need more time than you think you do. Uh, and you know my, I think I had mentioned, I'm not sure if I mentioned it actually, my grandmother is not moving with us. She's staying in Staten Island but at a different place so we have to move her as well. So that's happening. Um, uh, yeah, lots of things going on, but I wanted to update you on the new dates. They are coming up pretty soon, and they want it back-to-back. -back. And originally, our lawyer in Jersey was like, oh, that's not recommended, but they're working their way to get, like, the funds wired, and everybody seems to just want to get this done, which is great. Um... I feel like I have some more stuff to tell you, but that's the most exciting news, and I feel like I could finally, like get excited I was really depressed <laughs> last week uh, because of the date change and just a lot of things going on and I was thinking about Thanksgiving and well so Thanksgiving oh that's so funny I see I see a mom of one of our students and she's a run she runs every morning good for her my goodness and I tell the her her daughter and she gets super excited that I've seen her mom in the morning um the other news is oh gosh Oh, Thanksgiving, right? So I wasn't sure what we were going to do because a lot of things are packed and I could find stuff, but I just didn't want to... Everything's a mess and just nowhere to move. Uh, our dining room is clear, but all around it is crazy. In the kitchen, there's not really a lot of room to move. So we were thinking of two things, catering or going out. I really don't didn't want to go... Do go <laughs> I really didn't want to go out. Uh, but we placed an order at Wegmans. We're going to pick it up the day of, and everything could be heated. It's, the turkey is hand-carved already, which is amazing. I'm super excited about that. Uh, the only thing is not a whole turkey. I think it's half a turkey, but there's going to be dark meat, and I can still make, uh, I believe I can still make turkey soup. I hope I can make turkey soup. Um, and so you get a turkey, you get several sides we got a dessert 
a couple desserts and an antipasto platter. Uh, and I'm going to pick up a couple of other things um, just to complete it. I, I'm going to pick up champagne and, and cranberry juice. So we can have a cocktail at the beginning. We're not very big drinkers in our home. Um, and then, yeah, so that's all sorted out. That was kind of stressful. You know, I, I was getting upset because all everybody else seemed to have plans for Thanksgiving. Like our lawyers, realtors, and everybody involved. And I guess it was kind of like jealousy slash frustration. I don't know. Uh, but it's all sorted out. We're going to pick it up. We're going to warm it up. Uh, we have a toaster oven and we have it's a micro we still have our microwave uh so we could use those two things to heat up and now uh, it's not gonna be pretty pretty but it's going to be uh still thanksgiving dinner which i'm very very happy about uh yeah so I, i'm gonna film some more of the packing stuff uh but i think i'm gonna save the moving and like the new house tour uh, for a separate video but I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone. Today is Tuesday, November 23rd. Happy birthday, Steve. We went out this past weekend for dinner. But we're probably going to go out tonight too. It's nice to go out on your actual birthday. And I wanted to update you. Yesterday our realtor texted us and asked if it was okay if the buyers came to measure the side door. We said sure. Uh, they came pretty late. Well, I was guess it wasn't late. Uh, around 6.30 p.m. And he was, the husband came and he was literally in and out in like a minute. He measured the width of the door. Uh, which is exciting. It made me a little bit more excited because they're buying doors for the house. Uh, he had mentioned that he bought a door uh, and they're measuring the side door because they want to buy it for the side door as well. I think that's what he was saying. Which means they I mean, they're serious, but, like, this is, like, they're actually buying stuff. And we, so, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed through this whole entire thing. I'm hoping that the dates stay the same and... Uh, unfortunately, the only problem that we're coming across now is getting movers. Uh, we've contacted a few, but no one has really gotten back to us. One place has, but they're all the way out in Brooklyn, and that would mean that we, they would have to cross two bridges, and we would prefer to keep costs down where we can. Um, so we would like a moving company from Staten Island. That makes just more sense to us. But we'll see. Or Jersey, too. We'll see what happens. We want to move not this weekend coming up, but the next weekend. Uh, because we're going to be closing sometime next week. I don't want to jinx it. It's just one of those situations where it's stressful because you just don't know. Like, things could change at any minute. And I don't like not knowing. That's what it really is. Uh, but we are about 65% packed, and we are living off of paper plates now, which reminds me, I didn't take out dinner. If I don't do things as soon as I think of them, I will not do it. And I'm trying to clear out the freezer, but I'm not doing a very good... Well, no, I don't want to say I'm not doing a good job. I have been cooking, but it's if I don't take it out, then it's not not it's not gonna happen <laughs> uh, because I'm not buying we're not really buying any more food and I want to keep the fridge clear for Thanksgiving um, in case we have to I mean we're gonna have to store leftovers I don't think I'm gonna put it in we're gonna pick up I'm not sure if I mentioned the exact time we're gonna pick up Thanksgiving dinner from Wegmans at pickup time it's supposed to be 12 45 p.m. Um, and I don't think I'm going to put anything into the fridge. Uh, but we will need room for leftovers. And it'll be different because I've never catered Thanksgiving dinner before. I've always had a home-cooked meal, which is, you know, that's a nice thing to say. Um, good memories growing up. But, yeah, that's the update for today. I do, I know it's just have been, it's, these videos have, these clips have been just me talking to you in the morning in the car. But I have so much time. I got here today at... Well, it's 7.30 now, but I got here before 7 a.m., um, which is 
pretty early. I don't start work until 8.45. I mean, I'm supposed to be in the building at 8, um, but it's a long time. I wish I, could, I started getting paid when... I, wish, I saw something on Instagram that was like, we should start getting paid as soon as we leave the front door because we are going to work. <laughs> and it's really cold. I have my jacket over because I don't want the car running or anything. Uh, yeah, that is the update for today. When I get home, I'll try to film what the house looks like. Uh, it's crazy. And I'd rather... Um, not have that Thanksgiving dinner there because it just seems so crowded but you know what I'm not cooking we're probably going to be eating off paper plates to be honest with you I'm going to see if I can pull out some plates though just so that we can eat off of actual dishes uh, but yeah I'll talk to you guys later good morning today is Wednesday November 24th it's about 7 20 ish I've been here a little before 7 traffic wasn't bad a lot of people take off you know right before a holiday and I just feel like so get into a little beginning of rant I feel like we need the day off before Thanksgiving or at least half a day I know schools we get a ton of days off but for the people who usually do the cooking and I I am not cooking this year but the past three years that I've been cooking it's a lot of work to make a Thanksgiving dinner uh, whether it's for a few people or for a uh, a big family it's just a ton of work and I know I used to prep the entire week before uh, so I understand why people take off is that I think also the weather reports were saying uh, that it was gonna be bad for travel the weather I got here in about 42 minutes which isn't bad um, it's definitely was lighter than usual which was super duper nice I'm concerned about going home but we'll worry about that when the time comes and there's nothing I can do. There's only one way to get, well, there's more than one way to get home, but the way that I get home is the way that I'm going to go, usually, uh, the usual way. And I do have news in regards to the move. I know I just talked to you about a ton of other stuff all the time before I start to get to the actual news. We got movers and that is just, a weight has been lifted because I was getting concerned about that. I know a lot of you are probably like, wow, this girl is so impatient. She just started calling these people. But we started calling movers on Friday. And we just started getting responses the other day. And I just feel like people should be like, no, yes, we'll get back to you. Something so we know that they are have us in, in their minds. We got movers, and it's so funny, when we gave the deposit to the one company, the company that we decided to go with, another company called, and they were trying to, like, get us to go with them, but they were offering two days, a two-day move, and they were more expensive. And the other company that we went, we, I wanted to go with a company that we had used uh, uh, three years ago for our last move but I'm not that I'm thinking about it they haven't gotten back to us and I try to contact them to help us with something else a couple of years ago after our move to move other things and they never got back to us either hmm I think I'm gonna cross them off our list because they just don't get back to people even whether it's email or a phone call uh, but the company that we decided to go with our a moving company that we used in my second child when we were moving from my second childhood home and I don't remember that much about them my mom used them so I'm gonna go with who she went with and the guy was very nice and he's giving us a discount for using them and it's gonna be one day the day that we wanted and it's gonna be um I'm not gonna tell you the exact price but it's good it's a so fine price and we are going with them we I'm just so happy that that is done and we were talking to our lawyer for the New Jersey home and that is getting settled they're gonna call us with a time for the closing and things are just really starting to happen and I can kind of not worry as much uh, the buyers are gonna do a final walkthrough and we are getting leaf like we have to get land we canceled our landscaping but we're going to 
uh, get somebody else to just clear up the leaves because it's a lot of leaves. We have two trees in the front, one tree that we don't even have in the back, but it's we get the majority. It's the diagonal to us. We get the majority of their leaves. Uh, so we have to clear that up. It's just a whole bunch of other things that are going on uh, that are just the list is getting checked off, which I am so happy about. Hi everyone! Today is Monday, November 29th, my grandmother's move out date. Just a little bit of info on that. She is waiting for a spot in assisted living to move up and instead of moving her all the way to Jersey with us, she's going to stay with my stepdad in Staten Island. They graciously offered her a room there and we took it and plus I think it's a good break for me and my grandmother. We haven't been getting along the last couple of years and I think we'll both be able to breathe a little bit easier now. Uh, but I also wanted to update you on the current state of the house. We got some great news. We have a couple, we have the times for our clothing dates, which is makes it even more real. And again, I think I mentioned we got movers for Saturday. So things are really kicking into high gear now. But let me turn you around. Here was the china cabinet that's gone now. My grandmother's taking that. There's Ava. Hi, Ava. Hi, pretty girl. She's wondering what's going on. She's, I think she's been very anxious today. Um, boxes. We ordered more of those plastic bins. They're coming tomorrow, which is awesome. They were supposed to come Wednesday, but that gives me more time with them. This dining room table, we are trying to get rid of. I think we might have a couple of takers, but I'm hoping that it pans through because, you know, a lot of people can say I want it, but then they don't come to get it. And then here is the kitchen. Looks kind of the same as I think what I showed you last. The bathroom, the same. Uh, the toilet stand is out and the shower chair is gone. That's went with my grandmother. This office is crazy, my office. Oh my goodness, but if you can hear that echo, this is my grandmother's room. It's all empty. It's so crazy that this is happening. I, I've lived with her for almost all of my life, life except for the year that we were. I was in an apartment, but I went back home almost every week. It's nice to have this space because now we could put boxes, like the ones in my office, in there, and I could actually keep on cleaning. Here's our bedroom. Sorry, we don't make the bed. Uh, there's some boxes in here that could probably be moved out to this room. And that is the update so far. Things are, like I said, really moving along now. And I took a pause from packing, which I shouldn't have. But it really, there was no room to move anywhere. But now that we have this room, um, we can keep moving forward. And my grandmother, she seems happy, happier than I've seen her in a while. And... My stepdad and his girlfriend are gonna take really good care of her and treat her like the way she wants to be treated. Um, that sounds like I've treated her awful. It's just the way I show my love to her is very different than the way that other people do. I don't know, like I try to be, give her, like if I know she can do things, I force her to do things that she doesn't wanna do. Sorry, this is getting into like weird territory, but she seems very happy and I'm so glad that they were able to do this for us. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, no, no, December 1st. Happy December. I am parked at work. I'm gonna go inside in a few minutes. I've tried to film this many times. I just keep on talking and talking and talking. I'm gonna try to keep this shorter than I have been filming it. I wanted to update you on what's going on. It's all good news. I, Monday, I told you my grandmother is has moved, and so we have the extra space in our room, and I moved all the boxes in my room to her room, and it's so funny, the habits that you learn and have to unlearn. I've been, since the boxes have been in my room, I have been, like, you could barely open the door, and I have to shimmy into the door and like around the boxes and it's just been so annoying uh it's i was i was still doing that when the boxes were moved into my grandmother's room it was so funny i was like oh wait i don't have to do that i could open the door uh the door could be open uh, all the way and i could go like this if i wanted to in the room and it's just been nice and that just goes to show you how 
emptying a room, decluttering stuff, even though I'm not really decluttering. Uh, it just shows how easier your mind becomes when there's less stuff to worry about. And I have to remember that going forward. I was getting a little upset yesterday because I felt like I was packing alone and I was but it's it's more I was upset I have so much stuff to pack and I can't seem to let go of anything I'm gonna try to be better about that remember that feeling of of just less stuff less it causes it makes you have less stress less anxiety um also we have have made plans to have our gas electric cable and internet shut off and we are setting up for the new house the same and um i feel like the first thing people do is get an appointment for their internet installed uh we are having that done sunday um and yeah we got more pronto boxes the plastic bins they came yesterday which was fantastic and I felt like there was another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I don't remember. Um, you know what? That's it. This table is being picked up today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we found somebody on Facebook. And um, just packing up the kitchen yesterday. The um, I just did this box. I got to label it. Uh, today is, oh, by the way, today is Friday, December 3rd. We are going to close on the Jersey house later today. It's about 11. Um, I have to use this. The plastic Tupperware is going. We're going to bring glass. And dishwasher is running. And things are moving along. Oh, yesterday, let me. So yesterday we closed on the Staten Island house. We didn't have to do much there. Uh, we were there from like 11.30 to 1.30. And then... Our realtor took us out for dinner and gave us the cutest gifts. Um, I'll show you that later. And the dinner was really, really nice. Um, it was more, I said in a joking way, it was more like we were treating him to dinner because he gets a pretty decent commission from us. Um, but it went really well yesterday. Sorry for the crazy awkward view here, but I am just backing up. See behind me. Just doing the kitchen, then I have my room, and then the basement. Just, this is how it goes, right? Isn't this how it goes all the time where you think you have it all figured out, but then you have so much stuff that you're going to be up and probably be awake when the neighbors come. Oh gosh. Hey guys, it's moving day. The drivers, the drivers, the movers were here at before 8 a.m. We only got about three hours of sleep, but I think that's the way it usually goes. And yeah, things are moving along here. Hey, we're moved in. Those guys were so fast. We were done, so they came a little before 8 a.m. They were done by 10.30. And then we came here, they were done by 12.30. Uh, really quick, really efficient. Let me show you what it looks like now. And I'm so tired. We just had pizza. This place is amazing. We really, we tried it once before and it's still very good. So there's the pepper left and some plain. And I'll just do a quick walkthrough from here. Oh, and our the previous owner came and was like, I don't know they gave this they took this down because this wasn't there and i was hoping they would leave it but he was like no you guys should have it and we're very happy so we walk in couch is gonna i think move forward a little bit just too far back and I, we didn't realize her couch was so big it looks so small in our other house uh and we wanted actually this to be over here but obviously that's not that's not gonna work over there, look at all our crap. It's too much stuff. That's not gonna stay there, but until we have a dining room table, that's where it's gonna be. And look at this cozy little room. Yeah. <laughs> our kitchen <laughs> looks crazy. I can't even walk through there. Uh, and I'll show you the upstairs, but the downstairs, it's too hard to get there, so. Okay. 
here is bathroom. Nothing much has changed. Just a couple boxes in there. But look at that. And I'm going to be on the left side again. This is room so cute. I love the little cove over there. Very similar in terms of like how we were using the space. So this is going to be my office closet. My sister's desk is also here. Um, so she can use that as well because she works on the computer. I'm not here during the day. She works from home. So that's perfect. And here is my sister going to be my sister's room. Yeah, so this is a nice size room as well. It would, imagine it without all the boxes, just a lot of space. And she gets a lot of sun in here too. So yeah. Oh my goodness, better lighting in here. We, I can't believe we're done with the move. They were really, really good. I would recommend them. They're called Movers Not Shakers. They're based out of Brooklyn, but they obviously go to Jersey. And um, yeah very 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 efficient we got them lunch as well and gave them a nice tip each um i can't believe it i'm a new jersey and now wild um i'll maybe i'll be back to update you this is probably going to be the end of this uh part of the vlog the moving the, the getting ready to move and the moving and then the next maybe video will be me uh, picking the core out and stuff like that because we do need to get other things like that but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you soon bye